What's up guys, it's Talha here again today and uh, today we are going to discuss some topics in discrete mathematics and uh, today we are going to discuss the uh, our topics include functions so functions in sets and uh, different types of functions um, which we uh, deal with in uh, terms of sets and uh, we have already studied uh, studied what are functions in uh, calculus and uh, you know math and beforehand and uh, we already know what functions are but in terms of sets that's what we are going to study today and then secondly we are going to study different types of functions so first let's jump let's just uh, jump right into the functions which are in uh, set terminology so uh, let a and b be any two uh, non-empty sets so you know a and b are non-empty sets they are uh, they have some uh, they contain uh, at least one or two elements inside uh, so they are non-empty a function f from a to b means it is uh, it is uh, you know a function is always a, a relation between uh, two variables so let a function f is from a to b so a is for example you can say that a is a one, one variable and uh, b is another variable it's an assignment so in in a set uh, in a set terminology a function is an assignment of exactly one element of b so exactly one as so you can take uh, b as uh, the f of x and a as the x so exactly one so f of x is going to be the range and uh, x is going to be the domain or you can say the x is going to be the domain and uh, f of x is going to be the the codomain of the uh, of the of the domain so a assignment of exactly one element of b to each element of a exactly one element of b to each element <coughs> of a means that uh, you know no uh, you know uh, you know if th that uh, a function is not a function if you have uh, if for example if i say that you know one uh, the x is x is written on one side and f of x is on the other and you as uh, you are going to assign two values of f of x to a single domain that is not a function that is not a property of a function the property of a function is that you can have you can have uh, uh, you can have two domains and uh, and they have the single range but you cannot have uh, a single domain having two ranges that is not a property of a function so uh, the assignment of exactly one element of b so exactly one element of b you can take b as the range to each element of a and uh, uh, you know, uh, if you say the subset or a single uh, or a single unit or a subset of the set A uh, of the domain is called the image. Uh, sorry, is called the pre-image, and the subset of the range or the subset of the codomain is called the image. So the set of all images, the set of all images make up the range uh, of a function, and the set of all pre-images make up the domain of a function. So we write uh, f of a equals b. So this is the mathematical representation of a function from uh, a to b, where uh, a small a is the is the subset of the set capital A, and b is uh, small b is the subset of uh, capital B. So if b is the unique element of b, so b is the unique element of b that is the range assigned by the function f to the element a element small a of capital A set if f is a function from a to b we write f uh, colon a implies b so then in, a, in a set terminology we write function like this functions are also sometimes called mappings or, tran or transformations so mapping is the term used for the functions because you know whenever you <clears throat> draw a function or whenever you state uh, explain a function in a set terminology what you do you map each element of uh, the uh, you know in this case so you map each element of the set a to each element of set b and you know uh, exactly one element of b is going to be assigned to each element of a no two elements of b can be assigned to a single element of a, of a because that will not be a function 
so that was a little uh, introduction about functions now let's discuss the different types of functions so we have uh, uh, we have one one functions we have uh, on two functions and then we have one to one correspondence where you can see uh, you can say the bijective function or that are the combination of both one one functions and on two functions so first uh, let's discuss what is one one functions so a function f is said to be one one is said to be one to one or an injunction so injunction is another uh, terminology used for one to one functions if and only if if and only if f of a equals f of b implies that a equals b for all a and b in the domain of uh, f of a, a, a in the sorry in the domain of f a function a function is said to be injective if it is one to one so basically what this statement is saying that uh, in a one one function in a one one function uh, so the condition of a function so uh, a single domain a single domain cannot have two ranges but two domains two or three domains can have uh, the same range but if if that if that is the case the fu that function is not going to be a one to one because in one in a one to one function you should have uh, for every domain there is there is going to be uh, a unique range so for every domain uh, for every unique domain you have a unique range so uh, here what this statement is saying that f of if if f of a equals f of b so if f of a is equal to f of b implies that a is also going to be equal to b to uh, to um, to prove this statement so unless uh, or you can write it as uh, you know if uh, f of a is not equal to f of b f of a is not equal to f of b when a is not equal to b so when a is not equal to b so a and b are any two values of uh, let's say the set a uh, and uh, you know when a, when a is not equal to b when a is not equal to b a and b are different so f of a and f of b are also different so they have unique and different ranges so that is what an injective or you can say the one to one function is now let's discuss what is uh, onto function so onto function a function f from a to b is called onto or a sug or a surjection if and only if uh, for every uh, element b belongs to a so b uh, sorry b belongs to b so b uh, so small b as i stated er, er, as i stated earlier that small b represents your uh, image small b represents your a single image and the set of all images make up your ranges so small b uh, when small b belongs to b so b is the range b is the set of all images and a small b is a single image there is an element there is an element a a small a that is the pre-image a single pre-image uh, a belongs to capital a that is the set of all the pre-images with f of a equals b a function f is called surjective if it is on to so basically what this statement is stating that for every range for every range there is an element in the domain that is connected or that is mapped to that range so no range is uh, so no range or no uh, image of a function is left empty or you can or simply or uh, you know this cannot be any simpler you can say that the range range of a function is its entire codomain so it has nothing left to be mapped so it has uh, so not uh, so no range or no or you can say that uh, all of the ranges of the function are being or uh, mapped to the domain so its uh, range is is the entire codomain and the difference between codomain and range is codomain is a set of all outcomes set of all possible outcomes and range is your uh, the outcomes which are uh, which are uh, which are not all possible outcomes but which are the outcomes of the specific domain and you know that uh, and when you and then the function outputs the range according to the domain now uh, let's see what are one-to-one -one correspondence or you can see the bijective functions so the function f is a one-to-one -one correspondence or a bijection 
if so by means two so you know it's like it is the it is, it is comprised of these uh, two one to one and uh, uh, on to functions or a bijection if it is both one to one and on to we also say that such a function is a bijective function so when a function when a function has um, for every domain for every unique domain there is a unique range and also and also the range of the function is the entire codomain and you know for a function it is necessary that every every image uh, sorry every pre-image of the function or every uh, uh, every element in the domain is mapped to the range because if it is not mapped then that is not a function because it is not implying that f of a equals b because it is the uh, a single element of a domain is left alone and is not mapped so that is not a function but uh, so uh, you know the bijective function is when it is one to one means for every unique element uh, for every for every unique domain there is a range and also for um, and all, all and also the the uh, whole codomain at uh, the whole range the range of a function is its entire codomain means no range is left alone all of the ranges all of the images of the domain of the pre-images are being mapped and that is what you call a bijective function all right guys uh, so this was it about these this was a this was a little introduction about the functions and uh, types of functions and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.